All right, guys, here we go with hopefully a fun unboxing. It's going to be a bit of a strange one, a bit of a different one, but it's going to be an epic one because it's nice to hear that finally, because the channel is doing better, it's easier to convince awesome companies to uh, help me out with stuff like sending me products with advanced technology in it. In the past, it's been really, really hard. I didn't have live streaming. I did have lots of uh, you know, followers and stuff like that on different social media, but YouTube, for some reason, the algorithm always tried to discredit me to the point where, you know, it was really hard to get anything out of it. But recently things have gotten a little bit better because the algorithm struggles now to discredit me because, you know, it's quite obvious that there are followers and awesome people and other bits and pieces and places and so on and so forth. So, I was finally able to get something amazing. And we'll see what's in here real quick. This right here looks like a wig. And let's see what else is coming out of this amazing box. Let's see. This, and again, this is really advanced technology that we're going to be able to check out real quick. There is a charger plug here and another looks like another awesome wig in there let's see what that's all about in a second and uh, luckily we're live well not live but streaming this on 180 and 360 so you'll be able to see a whole lot more stuff but while we're here we might as well just try to unbox this very gently because it is super delicate just like most robotic technology is these days and so I'm gonna to try to be really gentle with this because I am very worried about breaking it. Very worried indeed. So let's see how this could come out of the box without destruction happening to it. Maybe sideways will be easier. Please come out. Okay, here we go. I did not wreck it like Ralph. Anyway, this right here looks like it's going to be a fantastic thing. And as you can see here, there is a cool robotic screen on the back here. Um, I do believe, and you have to be really careful about this, um, that this thing will plug in there. We're going to have to find a way, a solution of some kind, in order to allow this awesome um, awesome robot head uh, to somehow stay in place while we try to learn how it um, it works and all that good stuff because it is going to uh, you know I'm going to be able to talk to this amazing thing and hopefully it's going to be able to talk to me because that's kind of the idea here anyway it looks pretty amazing. Look at the um, details on this thing. And the eyes, the mouth, and all that stuff is supposed to move uh, based on what it says. So complicated, very complicated, advanced technology here. It is also a great tool for object drawing. And um, you know we could have some cool lights and stuff on it that will allow me uh, to learn a little bit more about shade Look at how cool this is, how the um, all kinds of shadows and stuff like that and how the light reflects off surfaces. This is a great thing uh, for so many different reasons. Looks like there may be some speakers on the side of the head here and a microphone that should allow us to be able to speak to this um, awesome robot. And so finally, we have a robot that uh, will have a... I'm hoping some kind of personality, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make some modifications to the personality and stuff like that, which usually tends to be pretty difficult on devices uh, that we've tried before. I've had the Vector, I've had all kinds of other robots that we will show in other videos as well that are already on the channel. But this, this I am going to be um, working on and trying to figure out how to explore the personality aspects of this thing. And it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool. 
I'm guessing it's probably going to have a personality similar to maybe Janice. If you tick her off. And uh, she'll be very, very sweet. Like some of the other amazing ladies out there. But it's supposed to be able to somehow um, open, her, open her eyes, do different faces, expressions and stuff like that. And that's something that is very, very hard to achieve. Uh, so it'd be interesting to finally be able to uh, work with something of this caliber. Because before then, you know, like, of, as I said before, I've worked with things like Vector and other robots. But it's just not very realistic. And it doesn't give you the same kind of uh, emotion. And uh, we'll be able to finally run some robot robotics uh, experiments and stuff like that on the channel with uh, something that's more like a cyborg, you know, like not really a cyborg because it's not really a human, but you get the you get the idea. Anyway, more humanoid looking and I think they've done a fantastic job here. Uh, again, we're gonna have to find some way of connecting this up to some kind of stand because I don't want to ruin it and I want it to be able to uh, sort of stand up and um, be able to talk to it and so that the mouth can open and stuff like that and the eyes can move around and stuff. So yeah, this is already looking fantastic and I uh, just wanted to do this quick unboxing with you guys so you guys could see what we have here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard for in this, in this video to show you what the wigs look like and stuff like that because uh, the idea is that it's as realistic as possible as almost almost like a real human and uh, with a wig you can't tell that there's seams and obviously this amazing piece of machinery in the back here uh, proper screen in here that we'll have all set up uh, so that you can talk to the robot